Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Big Zell 20 hitting you guys up, and <sighs> I'm here to review Basketball Wives. Now, I was going to do this review on Tuesday, but I really didn't know what the fuck to talk about, so, you know, after we're watching again, here's my review. Bitch, it was the motherfucking Evelyn show. Like, honestly, all they talked about was Evelyn and Chad Ochocinco. Now, I knew in the first part, in the first episode, they were going to visit this, because pretty much this is going to be the this is going to be the highlight of Evelyn's season because, bitch, what else do you have going for yourself? Now, it just really fucking, like, they kept bashing and bashing the fucking point in. Evelyn goes and she talks to her crew about what happened. Then it shows her whack-ass interview with on 2020 or Dateline or whatever. Then it shows her talking to her mom about it. Then it shows her talking to her daughter about it. Then it shows her talking to Shawnee about it. Then it shows her talking to the girls about it. And this is pretty much the whole entire episode. And I was like, really? Basketball wise, VH1. Really? That's what she was giving us the first episode. I mean shit, it should have been I mean, I know the Chad and Ocho the Chad Ocho Cinco, the Chad and Evelyn show got cancelled, but shit. As much as they were talking about him, he should have been getting fucking paid. He probably is. He probably the fuck is. Um, I just, let me, let me touch on that real quick for a second. I have made it known in the past that I really do not care for Evelyn. I really don't. And what has happened to her has not changed my point of view of her, of her at all. And let me tell you why. Because, and I'm going to tell you one single reason why I did not feel an ounce of sympathy for her during this first episode. I was about to go there. I was about to be like, damn, I do feel bad. She did go through a lot. And when it showed the photos, I was like, fuck, he split her down the fuck up. But, how can I say this nice? There was a part in the episode where she referred, she talks about her deceased brother-in-law and how he died right after that bitch only talks about it for five fucking seconds and the whole episode you're crying about Chad Ocho Cinco bitch really you have your your priorities in order and I know a lot of you are going to be like Big Zoe it wasn't her father it was probably VH1 but that to me it just really took all the sympathy I, that I had all the sympathy and just threw it down the fucking crap shoot like bitch shut the fuck up and then the whole episode, I was just don't know, I don't know what the fuck I did. I'm like, bitch, play it up for the cameras. Play it up for the fucking cameras. Because, bitch, really? Really? And then, and, you know, and, and, and to highlight that point, her fucking daughter is standing there looking at her like, her sitting there looking at her like, bitch. Ma, shut the fuck up. Because I'm sure that her daughter's heard this all before. I mean, her daughter even goes on to say, we've told you that we did not like Chad. Nobody liked him. And this remind, and this kind of reminds me of the last couple of seasons where she was going balls to the wall against Jen. And basically, you know, treating Jen like a fucking bitch because Jen said what everybody else was thinking about Chad. Like... Chad is fake, he's inauthentic, in the words of Arian, he's very inauthentic, and bitch, he don't care about you, he is genuine. He is not genuine, he is not genuine, actually he was genuine, he was a genuine asshole. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. Hello? It's funny how every other person in a outside the relationship can see that your man is a fucking asshole except for you. And it happens to the best of us. But because it happened to a bitch like Evelyn, I choose to not give a fuck. And that's not to say that I don't care about women out there who's been abused. That's not true. I think that abuse and battered women in relationships is a big epidemic in America and other countries, obviously. You know, you see women getting their fucking head cut off because they have an argument with their husbands in other countries, but that's a whole nother fucking post. Um... I think that, you know, but there, there are women in this country who deserve my sympathy, who deserve my kindness, who deserve for me to care. Evelyn Lozano is not one of them. It's not. She's not. So, I'm just kind of like, bitch, I'm over it. And you, you're going to sit there and talk about, oh, it came out of left field. and it, uh, Bitch, what? Chad has been treated. 
treating you like a fucking asshole since he first walked up on this show. He has not, I mean, there was nothing cute or charming about how he was talking to her. He was a fucking douchebag. And he even made it known that he was going to cheat on you. So I don't understand what the fuck, like, I mean, I never understood women today who were all like, well, if you're going to cheat on me, you better let me know. You better let me motherfucking know because you know what? Just let me know. Be real with me. Be real with me before shit hits the fan. I don't understand that. So you're willing to sacrifice your dignity, your uh, self-respect, your self-esteem, and your class and respect as a woman to please this man and allow him to do whatever the fuck he wants to do just as long as he tells you. Let's be clear. The f she reiterates this over and over in the episode. The fight between her and Chad was not because he cheated on her. It's because she didn't know about it. And that's what it was. To me, in all essence, that just makes you a dumbass bitch. And I am done talking about you and Chad motherfucking Ojo Cinco. Girl, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Then they try to, VH1, please stop pretending that we're not, that we're stupid. Please stop pretending that we're stupid. We know that you contractually obligated all the bitches to be in L.A. Stop making it seem like, oh, I'm in L.A. right now. I'm in L.A. right now, so I think I'm going to visit Shawnee right now. And because I just so happen to be in L.A., I'm going to visit Shawnee. I, I, you know, I was in L.A. just visiting me, so I'm going to visit Shawnee, bitch. What the fuck ever? What the fuck ever? Y'all was on the contract. You was getting paid. VH1 paid for your plane tickets to be in motherfucking L.A. Get the fuck over it. We know. Anyway, I'm sorry. I pace when I do these videos. When I, do, when I hand record this, like I have a handheld uh, phone, I pace. So if I'm doing a lot of moving around, I apologize ahead of time. Hold on one second. Let me check something. Okay. I was checking the time. Sorry. So, there's not much to talk about this episode. Shawnee was being shady as fuck with Evelyn and Tammy when they all when they both were talking to her about their situations. Um, I sympathize with Tammy about what she's going through with her mom. I still think Tammy's a hot ass mess and she's still immature and childish as fuck for her age. But, you know, I'm close with my mother too, so I sympathize with her for her mom being sick. Um, then they all meet up at the end to talk about, once again, Evelyn and Chad, and Tammy's talking about some, well, she needs to tell me what happened. She told Ayala, so she needs to tell me, bitch, no, the fuck she does not. If you want to know, you've heard it in the fucking media, you've heard her in her interviews, you've heard her on Ayala, like you said, and I mean, this mean, this just goes to show that y'all are not really that close anyway, bitch, you didn't even go to the funeral, I mean, the wedding, the funeral. You didn't go to their funeral, so, you know, because it was not a motherfucking wedding, it was a funeral. Death of a fucking relationship. Okay, hello, goodbye. Um, then here comes, a, here comes motherfucking Susie, and I'm like, oh my god, this is the problem I have with VH1. You got rid of Royce Reed, who... With whom nobody wanted to film with anymore, even though she did bring that spice and extra sass to the show. You got rid of Jen, and really you could have played off of the arc of Jen and Evelyn, maybe trying to rekindle their friendship, or Jen, you know, whatever, but you got rid of her. So you bring, so you keep this talentless, <sighs> ugly ass, just, oh my god, this bitch, like, I cannot stand Susie. Side note, doesn't Susie's face just look like, it just looks like a whole bag of wrong. Like, when you look at her face, you be like, oh, that's just so wrong. Like, I mean, tell me you can look at her face and not think something. Like, bitch, and you had this work done where your, your cheeks look puffier and you can't open your mouth to suck dick. So I don't know where the fuck you got this work done. And Tammy shaved the fuck out of her. And I was like, yes, Tammy, get it. And Susie, you know your feelings was hurt, honey. You was looking like, well, 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 the swelling has to go down. Bitch, shut the fuck up. 
I don't like Susie. I do not like Susie. I really don't. My other problem with this episode was the ratchet, ghetto, trifling hood rat advice that Tamlin that Tammy gives Evelyn at that motherfucking um table. Bitch, how the fuck dare you tell a woman who just got her dome split open by a man that you should forget him and should give him a second chance because now he does know better and now he knows it's against the law and he knows there's consequences. Bitch, do you know how all kinds of stupid that makes you sound? You sound like those illiterate ghetto hood rat bitches from these ghetto ass Neighborhoods and these ghetto ass shows talking some so white girl he hit you my man hit me all the time anyway girl it's just a black eye they just show you they love you that's what you sound like Tammy that is exactly what you sound like bitch I did not appreciate that advice at all it just to me it was just like from a woman to another woman I don't like that that's like another woman holding a woman back. What you should what you should have said was, well, I you know me personally that's crossing the line that's the line of just no regret I mean there's no fucking forgiveness but if you really love him and you know in your deepest and you know not what I'm telling you but you know that it was just this huge mistake and you believe that he would never do that to you again it's up to you girl. But don't sit here and advise a person saying that you have to forgive them. You got to give him a second chance because it's obvious you love him, girl. Go ahead and give him a second chance. Bitch, what? So I was not feeling that. I was not feeling that. It didn't help. It did not help that Evelyn would talk shit about Chad and then every other second say, well, you know, he knows he made a mistake. He knows he made a mistake. Bitch, you sound like you have battered woman syndrome. Please shut the fuck up and get help. Okay, receive the highest amount of help. Last part of the episode, a lot of people thought it was Shawnee was being shady to Tammy when she said, would you tell your daughters that? But I agree with Tammy. I mean, I agree with Shawnee.